We're good. You guys can hear me? Yes. Good to go. Yeah. Okay. So uh, good night. Uh, good night for the Kings and, and, and the, with, you know, the fact that we, we not always the prettiest of games, but we found a way to, to scrap out another win. Um, you know, some guys got some opportunities that haven't had it and, and um, uh, and finding out that Tyrese is, you know, he's going to be fine is is clearly, um, you know, great news for us considering what a big off season this is going to be for him. So, uh, all in all, good night for uh, uh, for Sacramento. Let's we'll start with Marshall Harris. Uh, Luke, where the Kings just put out the medical statement about no ligament damage, but that you know Tyrese is expected to miss the rest of the season. Um, how big of a blow is that? And uh, what can you just say about what he's done this season in his rookie season? Yeah, I don't look at it as a blow. I look at it as good news, uh, really, because I think a lot, of, you know, a lot of us were, you know, were scared when we saw it happen. It didn't look great, so I think that's uh, that's good news that we got, and um, it, you know, it, we'll, we'll miss him down the stretch of this this season. But uh, you know, for him to be able to have a full, healthy off season to really get after it is it, going to be uh, huge for us. So uh, he, he's had an unbelievable rookie season so far. Um, you know, made uh, big time plays, earned the trust of his teammates, um, continues to uh, to evolve his game to fit uh, NBA, the NBA style more. Um, and he's got a lot to work on and he knows that. Uh, but with his attitude and his work ethic, he's, you know, he's going to be a really good player. All right. Tony Harvey. Yeah. Hey, Coach, how, how is Tyrese doing? How, what, from your perspective, uh, how did he uh, react to the news? He's, he's great. You know, he's still vocal. He's still leading. Uh, he's on the bench. Uh, so he, he's uh, he's doing things that you would want, uh, you know, one of your one of your main guys doing, you know, whether they're playing or, or injured. Uh, he's he's very vocal and very you know, uh, involved still. So it's good to see. Sean Cunningham. Hey, Luke, um, the way you understand it, and obviously the way it was put in the press release was that it would be regular season. If something crazy here, is that maybe leave a kind of a little bit of a door open beyond uh, beyond the regular season? Uh, I'm sorry, say that again, Sean. So, for example, if you all made the you know playing tournament playoffs, whatever happens in that regard, does that kind of leave the door open a little bit there? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Uh, again, the, the timetable is, is what it is. Um, and I'm sure as, you know, he's he's pretty sore still right now. So as the days go by, we'll have a much better understanding uh, as far as when he'll be able to do basketball activities right now. Um, but from what I've been told, you know, for the remainder of the uh, regular season, he's done. Jason Jones? Yeah, you know, just not having Tyrese, not having De'Aaron. It seems like it's put you guys, at least in late game situations, we saw tonight in some different looks, you know, Buddy running pick and roll as opposed to, you know, either being De'Aaron or Tyrese. Just what does that do for you just strategy wise? No, I know you don't want to run DeLon into the ground, but how does that make things different for you guys in these last few games? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 gonna it, there's gonna be uh, challenges with that, and you know, I thought we did a nice job in, in in the fourth quarter getting open looks. We just didn't make them, whether they're threes or around the rim. We had a lot of good good looks that weren't going in. Um, we did run a lot more drag with Buddy, and I thought Buddy did a really nice job of um, of, of hitting the the big man rolling throughout the whole game. Uh, really when, when, you know, teams, teams are going to try to take his scoring away, especially with our other guys out. So he did a nice job of getting off that ball. Um, but yeah, you, you know, you, you'll just, we're going to have to create some of, uh, our offense using different people in different sets. And I thought DeLon did a really, really nice job on both ends, finishing that game for us. Uh, Tony Harvey. Yeah. And back on that subject of, uh, DeLon, because he, uh, the, Got a couple steals towards the, uh, the, end of the last couple of minutes. One uh, converted, which uh, was an important bucket. Almost got a triple double. And it, there was a discussion, a conversation before the game about him having starter experience, uh, and that, that pretty much showed tonight. Um, so, what's, what's the outlook for him now? That it looked like he's going, you know, he could be the, uh, the starter for the remainder of the season. Yeah, I mean, look, he, he's. I, I think you, you you nailed it when you said he's. You know, he has that experience and, and it showed down the stretch. You know, we couldn't buy a bucket. Uh, they were banking in threes uh, and, and momentum shifted. 
And, and you know, that's when you got to, you know, you'd like to rely on De'Aaron or Harrison or, you know, guys like that. And, and but they were doing everything they could to take Buddy out of it. So DeLon, you know, with that experience and that comfort level, he made a huge bucket, uh, you know, with under a minute to go. He got that steal when we couldn't uh, we couldn't make anything and went down and laid it up. Uh, and he came, I think he had four blocks and four steals. So he, he was all over the court tonight. Uh, without him, we don't, we most likely don't win that game. So, um, you know, he, he's got a, a, a lot of responsibility now, but, you know, he's done it before. He'll be okay. Uh, Crystal Saltis. Coach, speaking for Ty, do you expect from your players to play for him until the end of the season? Do I expect the players to what? To play for him. And for yeah, well, him on the no, I, I mean, I expect our players to play for for uh, for us, all of us, uh, not you know individually for Ty. You know, we're, we're you know we're on this journey together, and we you know we've been through some some tough patches this year, and we've been through some really really good times this year, and uh, it's all it's all part of what we're um, what we're doing, and and uh, yeah, you know, not having Ty is big, and we'll miss him, uh, but our effort and energy has to. Uh, remain where it's been um, and, and uh, you know we'll, we'll continue to play for the group as a whole. Jason Anderson. Uh, Luke you talk uh, sometimes about um, Marvin playing within the system and then uh, he talks about just playing basketball and you know being free and I, I wonder where the challenge is in trying to, to get what you need there and then how you would characterize uh, any progress in that area if you've seen some. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot this year, and you know that, that's you know that's the unfortunate part when you miss uh, a good chunk of time when you're still kind of you know in that mode of of a young player that's developing uh, and you know and fitting in with how we're trying to how we're trying to play, and you know that you know I thought towards you know towards that that Charlotte game where he got hurt a while back. You have done a really nice job of understanding when to get to the post, when to get spaced, when to crash the glass, you know, and then you miss time and you come back and you're anxious and excited. And you had a big night last time we played, um, you know, he did some good things tonight and he had some great looks tonight. And those are shots we want him taking. He knows that. Um, but, it, you know, it, it just comes with with the continuity and consistency of being with the group and, and playing. And, and that's part of, like we talked about, there's some rust he's going to have to knock off. That's part of it. And But as far as the progress he's made, we're very pleased with with that from the start of the year uh, to now. That's Sean Cunningham. Luke, you know, you throwing away that that Utah game, you had mentioned how well you were playing in the, with that Warriors game as well. And I'm just wondering if for you, is there any element of this, kind of rotation going so deep in there that's kind of even exceeded your expectations a little bit? Well, you know, I, yeah, I, as far as some of the, finishing these games out and winning, uh, we played some really good teams and, uh, you know, it, we haven't exceeded my expectations as far as the effort and energy and competitiveness we've been playing with. Um, that, that, you know, I expect that every night we step on the court. Um, but, you know, to go to LA and, and win and, you know, these teams, uh, you know, are, are, are getting ready for, for title runs and going to Dallas and winning in Dallas like this, uh, you know, without De'Aaron, without Harrison, only ha the half of the game in, in Dallas with Tyrese is, um, it, I'm, I'm very impressed with our group right now.